Mr. Chairman, Ranking Member Menendez, and distinguished members of the committee, I am honored to appear before you today as President Trump's nominee to be the next U.S. Ambassador to Armenia. If confirmed, I pledge to work closely with this committee and all members of Congress. I'm pleased to be joined today by my mother, Carol Sue Tracy, and my sister, Anita Jepsky. I want to thank them as well as other family members who could not be here today. I particularly want to acknowledge my father, Albert Tracy, who passed away three weeks ago. He was a constant source of strength and encouragement and was so proud and happy when my nomination was announced. Throughout my 24 years of public service, my family's support has meant everything to me during some very tough and dangerous assignments. Mr. Chairman, the overall goal of our Armenian policy remains an independent, democratic, and prosperous Armenia at peace with its neighbors, and we continue to affirm our commitment to a sovereign Armenia free to choose its own partners. In April and May of this year, hundreds of thousands of Armenian citizens took to the streets with determination, but without violence, to hold their government accountable. Like so many others, I was, in, I was heartened to see a peaceful transition of power. Armenia still has work ahead, however, to cement the gains of the past six months. If confirmed, I would continue our efforts to support the democratic aspirations of the Armenian people. And we are grateful for the assistance from Congress that has made a lasting impact on Armenia's economic development and democratic transition. The peaceful settlement of the Nagorno-Karabakh conflict is an essential is essential for a more secure and prosperous future for Armenia and the South Caucasus. Caucasus. If confirmed, I will support the administration's commitment to achieving this goal. Mr. Chairman, the horrific events of 1915 represent one of the worst mass atrocities of the 20th century, when 1.5 million Armenians were deported, massacred, or marched to their deaths in the final years of the Ottoman Empire. As President Trump stated on Armenian Remembrance Day this year, such atrocities must not be repeated. If confirmed, I pledge to do everything in my power to remember the victims and encourage Turkey and Armenia to acknowledge and reckon with the painful elements of the past. Armenia has been a steadfast partner on many fronts, and the bonds between Armenia and the United States are further bolstered by the active participation of the Armenian American diaspora. If confirmed, I will do everything in my power to strengthen and deepen the U.S.-Armenian partnership. Finally, as a veteran of multiple high-danger postings, questions of safety and security for American citizens and embassy personnel will have my complete attention and will be my highest priority if confirmed. Mr. Chairman, thank you for the privilege of appearing before the committee and considering my nomination. I look forward to your question. 